Yo. Hey, y'all. Oh, what is up? Man. Y'all know what it is, man. It's Dot's View with my two guys. Now, I know it's been a while, and I've been forgetful. That's my fault, y'all. I haven't properly introduced my two new co-hosts. So, what I want to do, and what, how I want to make it official, is I'm going to introduce, or let them introduce themselves. So, first, we're going to go to my man, Gabe. Gabe. Then, we're going to go to my man, E. We're going to let them explain what it is and who they are before we jump off into this episode, Sports Influenced. So, take it away, Gabe. Well, nice to meet everybody. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all know what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? Hello, <laughs> <Let me> stop. <laughs> My name's Gabe Crank. As you may know, you know, um, I'm an audio engineer. Um, I have all the uh, all other sorts of tricks and trades, jack of all trades, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Um, um, but I do care all the time, right? Um, you care all the time. I do make beats. Not 99%. All the time. Um, I do make beats and stuff like that. If you know about me, uh, the past tense was TT the Beat Man, but no longer that. It's Lear Man 3000 and Gabe Crane. They used to call him that you in high I'm school. Chi Chi the Beat Man, if you get me. You know Go ahead, Gabe. Uh, yeah, stop fucking up my goddamn intro. <laughs> fucking cocks up. I, so I, anyways, I saw an so, opportunity. Uh, <laughs> he jumped uh, in. He jumped in. Now he can't keep his mouth shut. Just let's see this side. You know what? But anyways, you know, nigga from Pine Hill. You know what I'm saying? Cracker Jack over here to my right already. You know, giving me a size and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> As y'all can see, that, yeah. that's Gabe, man. So, Gabe let y'all know a little bit about him. Now we're going to switch to E so he can let y'all know a little bit about him. Go ahead, E. Well, he's a cop. Ah, oh, damn. No. Get that right. We talked about that earlier. Gobbler. I don't want to be demoted. Mm. You know, that's a demotion, and I don't like demotion. Demote I don't care me. what it is. But listen up, he's nope. a fool. Oh. I ain't no gobbler uh, sucker. Uh, hey, hey, hello, ladies. <laughs> All right, we got How you over doing? here. Since, uh, you know, Gabe's introductions was so long-winded there and like, uh, whatever. Um, I'm just going to say this is E, and uh, for all you ladies out there, I'm not wearing underwear. That's all you need to know till next week. Take it away, Dion. Hey, well, while well, he's not wearing underwear, we're going to know that. And now, oh, they will. <laughs> Please don't out there, y'all, you ladies out there. Ladies, Come on, don't, don't ignore that fact. There but we go. Yeah, we're gonna jump off into our episode tonight with sports influences and how sports influences basically helped us pass the time, gave us inspiration, and all that other type of stuff. So, I will jump off first with my first sports influence. My first sports influence was what? Be, was what? The jock strap? Uh, uh, no. No. Oh, sorry. It, it would have to be again the, opportunity. Take it. It would have to be the late great Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali. Yeah. Not only was he soldier. Um, wow. In the tense, uh, in the pretense of him being, you know, what I'm saying, ready to to fight for whatever he believed in any given time, but he was a soldier in the ring. A man's did business. Let Plus, everybody know what his name was before it was Muhammad Ali. It was Cassius Clay. Absolutely. Cassius, Cassius Clay. Motherfucking Clay. Cassius right. Clay was his name before he became Muhammad Ali, the boxer, when he switched over to the Nation of Islam. Everybody who up with boxing, they know that. But, yeah, Muhammad Ali was one of the most iconic figures, in my eyes, for boxing. Not just because he's predominantly the best there was but absolutely the greatest his style his style just alone you will see a lot of boxers mimicking every piece of muhammad ali you can see him mimicking him down to the 
the movement, the foot movement. You can see him mimicking it down to the hand gestures. You can see him mimicking it down to the taunting and all this uh, type of stuff like that. Sugar so, Sugar Ray Leonard mimicked him to, 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 to him much to his success. Still to this day, one of the fastest boxes ever. Hey, what man. about that foot shuffle? What about that foot shuffle? Hey, hey, bro, shout out to Demi Fox right now, who's actually doing uh, Tyson movie, right? Tyson movie, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah awesome. Doing, uh, awesome. Doing I didn't know that. Now, see, okay. that, that was, that was, um, Muhammad Ali was iconic to me, not only because of what he did in the boxing ring, but what he did outside the boxing ring, which made him revolutionary and which made him a stand all character within the black community among just other communities, period, because his basically bravado didn't allow him to let the government play him for no fool right. and send him to a war that he didn't want to fight anyway. Like he said, y'all sending me over there to fight people that look just like me. I don't want to do that. If y'all gonna put me in jail for doing that, I will gladly sit in jail for however long you want me to sit in jail, but I'm not going over there and fight people who look just like me or or children just because y'all want to um, assert dominance. So, Muhammad Ali to me was one of the greatest. He changed now, the world. Yeah, so... Y'all two, out of y'all two, who was an influential sports figure in y'all life? Bobby Bonilla, one oh, of wow. the greatest. All right, now why was Bobby Bonilla one of your Pittsburgh teams? Pirates? Yeah, now he, he's Pittsburgh a beast. Pirates. But tell him why he he's one of your influential sports figures. Oh, he was from the get go. To me, he's better than Babe Ruth. Fuck you if you disagree. Where's he from? Dominican Republic. Church. And where are you from, Gabe? I'm from Providence, Rhode Island, but, but my parents are from Dominican Republic. There you go. There, there we go. Me, That's the connection. All right, all right. Hometown all right. pride. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Country Astro pride. Latino. Country mm-hmm. pride. You know yeah. So, Bobby Bonilla, uh, how did he make his way into one of your most influential type of sports figures? What's it like? Well, baseball is my number one sport. True. Uh, True. My dad raised me and my brother watching baseball, basketball, football, was, you know, I also watched, but it was more influential on baseball. Baseball. And okay. for the life of me, I thought that Bobby Bonilla was kin to my grandmother, but it's no relation. But at the same time, I got you. Same last name. Same last name, but no relation. All right. But uh, he was just one of the, if you ever watched, and as soon as YouTube got out, and then trust me, I was a bit of every fucking uh, 13, 14 when it fucking actually premiered okay. and, and to, to light or something like that. I might be wrong. I don't know. We gotta look that up. Yeah. And actually figure it out. But this was offered on the flip phone, and you could actually watch fucking clips and stuff like that. Yeah, I remember that. Like, so, <laughs> what, uh, what other baseball player was pretty significant from the Dominican Republic? Yeah, like. What, who are they? Because I know Bobby Bonilla. Was because uh, very, baseball is very big Sammy in the Dominican Sosa Republic. Sosa. Baseball is very, yeah. very big. Sammy There's a lot of... Sosa. I can keep There you go. Sosa. That's all I was Sammy. looking for. Sammy yeah. Sosa. He yeah. nailed it. There we go. It's, it's Roberto Sammy. Clemente or something yeah. Roberto, Roberto Clemente. Clemente. Way yeah. back from the day. Yeah. I didn't know Roberto he was Clemente. Dominican. Uh, Pirates, right? I didn't know he was Dominican. Oh, no. The Pirates in that era had more Dominicans than anything. Boy. Yeah. It helped usher in... Help usher in a lot of people... Trust in trusting in Dominican baseball players. It's I mean, still, it's still to this day that get you get more drafts out of Dominican Republic. And, yeah, and being did. a former baseball player myself, Bobby Bonilla was a switch hitter. Yeah, he, he can, he but can. no, in baseball, not yeah. in life. Yeah, he, in baseball, he was a great switch hitter. He, yeah, he, yeah, he, 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 yeah, he can. Well, uh, he he could have been a gobbler. We don't know. But go could, ahead. <laughs> he could have been doing right or left. But yeah, that. Bobby Bonilla, I would say yes. He's uh, highly influential yeah, when it comes yeah. to baseball. E, who you, who is one of yours? Uh, well, I gotta say, uh, there's only one that stands alone. And you know, ever since I was born, and I'm born in uh, the SO of the FLA, that's South Florida. South All right, Florida. Miami. Yep, Key Biscayne specifically. But Back when the McCoy was as, there, you go. Whatever he said. But anyhow. Um, that gentleman, and unfortunately, he passed away recently. Wow! But he was like a second father to me. What a what a what a figure! What an incredible coach, greatest coach in NFL history, winningest coach in NFL history. You know where I'm going with this. Great. 
the great, the Don, Mr. Don Shula. Hi, Shula. Uh, there's no replacement for me. There really, I, I, being a baseball player, I mean, you know, I've revered, you know, many sports figures in my life. I mean, just to name a few, Charlie Hustle, Pete Rose. Yes, um, Charlie Hustle. You know, a, lot, a lot of you aren't going to know this, Sparky Anderson. He was a longtime coach of the Sparky Detroit Sparky. Tigers. Yeah. Uh, so many people. Him. And somebody else that played with... Uh, you know, uh, Bobby Bonilla over there, but Barry Bonds. Bonds. I mean, Barry Bonds was incredible. And I No, yeah. Barry Bonds was a lefty. He didn't switch it. Even though he threw an asterisk on wow. his name. Is. Yeah. Well, I know because of the, yeah. the scams and the shams. But, hey, you know, that was a look, sign of the times. But look at Mark So many McGuire. people were doing it. Mark McGuire was as well. Jose mm -hmm. Cam. He's from Cuba. Tell you know what I mean? It. I grew up with so many Cubans down there. It's amazing. I shout out to all my Cuban friends down there. Yeah, he's um, everybody too. You know, uh, in case you don't know, in case you don't know where we're from, we're you know we're we're sitting here coming to you from the ORL of the FLA. That's Orlando, Florida, the, 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 the land that the rat built. You know what I'm? Saying? I'm saying. So, but just getting back to Don Shula. Don wow, it was. Nerds. Oh, nerds, yeah. Get that up closer. We want yeah, to see the yeah, nerds. Get with that. Nerds. We love nerds because, yeah. you know what? Awesome. Nerd, 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 bigger nerd, bigger nerd, and fool. And so, but he's eating our damn nerds. See right. see what the fools get to now, do? I'll... I want to go with another sports figure because you talked about baseball. Yes, sir. I talked about boxing. You talked about football. Sorry, you talked about football. Sorry, you talked about football. You talked about baseball. I talked about basketball. Let's go to hockey. Oh, the great one, Wayne Gretzky. You know what? He stole it. He stole that from me. He got into my mind earlier before we did the podcast. I didn't think we were going to talk anything about hockey. Look at him go. Toronto Maple Leafs. No, Edmonton Oilers. Edmonton Oilers. I'm Come sorry. On. But it's still All right. See, he Canadian fucked up. Team. See how he stole that shit from Canadian me? Team. Go ahead. You know what? I always thought I always thought he um, got traded to Detroit Red Wings, but it was never that. He was always on the Edmonton. He was always on Edmonton. That's where he did his best. Yeah, and he got, he got love. What was the other team that he switched to right before he retired? This I don't know. Um, I kind of got out of hockey over time. Who are, who are some of your newer favorite hockey players? I haven't been following hockey. Um, the last one that I know, uh, which was pretty incredible because, as you know, Miamians, you know, we got an expansion team down there. So, the, you know, that's the Florida Panthers. Yes, I have seen Florida some hockey Panthers. down there. But, uh, yeah, shout out to the Florida Panthers there. Shout out. Um, but... The last and most incredible thing I heard from them was that a former watch. Pittsburgh Penguin, Yaramir Yager, yeah, Yaramir which Yager. was a great, uh, and he, he, that's, you know what, he, he just hit the net, and Dion just hit the nail on the head, because I was trying to think of his name, and he pulled it right out, mm -hmm. but yeah, Lemieux and Yager used to play together, that's pretty they awesome, were bees, bro. and what happened, you know, when all that, you know, we all get older, we all got to retire with this and that, but Yaramir Yager, they, what didn't they call Bro, it was it's unbelievable. He was insane, but uh, you know, we've heard of some player coaches in our lives. Mm -hmm. Not only did, were they the manager or coach of the team, but they also played. Yep. And uh, Yaramir Yager, He's he did that. Them. He did that with the Panthers. I don't know if to any success I've gotten out of hockey, but um, but yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. My brother keeps up with it. Shout out to my brother Ed. What up, Ed? Shout we out, all Ed. love you. We're all saying hello. We're thinking about you. And I'm going to come and see you soon. It's been way too damn long. Okay. But Dion, all right. Segue. All right. But so I like uh, the great one, the, the great, great one, Wayne Gretzky. Wayne Gretzky. Absolutely. I, I got I to gotta give it to Wayne Gretzky because yeah. not only did he win championships for Edmonton, and I think it was the Rangers. If I'm not mistaken. I think you're right. I think he did go to the Rangers for a like the, the New York Rangers. Only a was couple this, seasons, Yeah, it was, it was the last part of his. That was his um, curtain call. The hockey career. Like, right. a lot of people wouldn't even think that I knew about hockey. But I was a sports nut when 
I was a little kid. I couldn't yeah, play him. Yeah. I tried to play basketball when I was in high school and middle school. It didn't work out too well. Okay. Now, everybody wanted me to play football because I was uh, stout, a stout kid. So yeah. everybody wanted me to be like a stout, meaning like maybe a little portly. Player? Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, I was, I was, okay, I was but... a defensive lineman built. So everybody uh, wanted okay. me to play like defensive lineman, gotcha. but I didn't really want to do that. So what I was, what I did was, I was like, you know what? Basically, we just gonna do it like, like these. And I just basically went to my art talent. So, but Wayne Gretzky was one of my favorite ones because he actually got me into hockey. Him, Mario, me. Yeah. Um, it was, a, it was a couple of other really great ones that I can't think of right now and I don't want to disrespect the sport of hockey by trying to name shit but Gabe you have somebody else yep. that, that you uh, is an influence to me sorry Gabe has a mouth full of my nerds right now but nerds. go ahead Gabe take it away brother take it away oh listen uh, another influence uh, another baseball star Jerry Jeter fuck you okay away. great ball player no you're right can do cool. Kazu, shout out. Derek Jeter. He from he from Kalamazoo, Michigan. He from actually he was born in the Bronx, but he was raised in Kalamazoo, Michigan. He went to Kalamazoo for high school. Hey. And that's where he got his, his big uh, break when he came into baseball. Because he went straight from high school to like You know. So, so Jeter. You already know, man. I'm, I know you don't like to represent Kazu too much, but I'm going to make you represent us because you was there. You was a part of us. They got pictures all up of you everywhere. And my daughter got a freaking scholarship with your name on it. So I'm repping it. You know what I'm saying? You from the zoo? Take it. How you take it? You from Kazu? You know what it is. You know we some beast. You know what it is. Straight up. Stop playing, uh, Mr. Cheetah. But... Like my man E, like my man Gabe said, not E. Like my man Gabe said, Derek Jeter, greatest shortstop, one of the greatest shortstops in New York yes, Yankee history. Absolutely. And New York will tell you, they love Derek Jeter. He well, brought prominence back to the New York, um, the whole New York franchise. They Plus, really like A Rod, though. Along with who? Know. Yes, Gabe, you hit it on the head because I was about to go to A Rod right, right there. You want to mind. And again, you my you MIAs of the FLAs, Miami, Florida, right there. You know we got a Rod. You know what I mean? I know what uh, Miami Dade Community College is. Yeah. You know why? You know why a Rod wore number thirteen? Yeah, he said it. Make the Don Panu, uh, Don Shula connection here. Six degrees to Don Shula. You know why a Rod wore thirteen? Dan Marino, because that was Marino, his hero growing up. But a Rod, a Rod's right up there with uh, with Jeter, and I love Jeter. No. first one if we're talking about you know influences because that was one of the first positions I played in baseball going back old school going back over your heads a little bit unless you're a little bit of your uh, you know a little older crowd and historians are in there Dave Concepcion from the Cincinnati Reds Ooh. yes sir Ooh. now that's pulling one right okay. there that's pulling one out of the cap I'm a, out I'm of a, the baseball cap I'm right pulling there. One, I'm going to pull one right along. Uh, right don't, be, don't be pulling anywhere near me. You didn't, no, Don't no. say that too loud around yeah, me. I ain't going to pull in that. All right, but thank you. I'm going to go ahead and, and take an uh, excerpt Love from, you. from your. Love. I'm take an excerpt from, your, from yours. Kenny okay. Griffey Jr. Ken Griffey Jr. What about Ken Griffey Sr.? He's a beast too. Both of them. And he played for the Reds. <laughs> what and about, who else played for the Reds? Dave Concepcion. Dave. What about when he had them little short, super short... Gold chains back in the day. Uh, uh, baseball. Yeah, I used to wear. Dog I used to wear one yeah. too. I used to wear one back in the day. Yeah, bro, that was that was the deal back in the day. The look. They don't yeah. draw a really short yeah. little collar. Yeah, because yeah. it's acceptable nowadays. Because I told you, nostalgia sells. Nostalgia is back in business. If you got something nostalgic. They used to call those they black win. necklaces something. They called fish them. Bone. I think it was like no, it wasn't bone. Herring bone. Bone. Herring bone. You bone. got it. You got it. Yeah. Herring bone chain. I forgot. I used to have one. It was long, flat, and wide. Well, I used to play. I used to play too much. I lost them down colors now. I used to play too much. You know, out in the streets and whatever. So I always got them like just ripped off of me from playing tackle football. Then I had to come home and explain that to my mother. Exactly. Subsequently, get my ass whooped. 
Thank you very much. Okay. I learned my lesson. Get them. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, it's so okay. I didn't see the outside of my room for a damn week. So who, who else is one of those uh, sports influencers? Or just somebody that influenced the whole game of sports? Belichick. Bill? Ah. Uh, okay. Even though I can't stand the New England Patriots, I got to give it to Belichick and what he did for the game, I guess. Um, he's not going to catch Don on. Shula and wins, but he's going to get close. No, yeah, he ain't going to catch an Arbach. Um, the Arbach, how many well, how many Red Arbach? No. How many George Hallis. George Hallis. We got two. George, George Hallis? Yeah, I'm George, George the NFL. Yeah, George Hallis is second only to Don Shula. Okay. Red Auerbach, he's he's a he's a horse figure, but, but he is college. He's uh, college. I can't speak intelligently to him right now. But he is uh, Red Auerbach. No, Red Auerbach, yeah, because he's the uh, basketball. He was the high yeah, school, uh, college yeah. Basketball. Auerbach was a basketball guy. And he was he was one of the most dominant ones. Dion Dion did his homework before the podcast. So. Uh, who was it? Ah, Who was it? Got you, got you. Lombardi. Uh, Bill, uh, oh, Lombardi. Vince Lombardi. Vince Lombardi. Vince Lombardi. Yeah. The, the, the person who named after the damn trophy. Oh yeah, absolutely. He, he was a him. pioneer. He was one. Of, he was one of the top. Yeah. Uh, he was one of the top ones. He was one of the top ranked sports guys no. of all time. Uh, yeah. Because yeah. of well, what he also, did with the Green Bay. Yeah. Also, because he was a pioneer. He he yeah. won the first NFL championships and. Things like yeah. that. With I forget who the quarterback was. He was like the extremely famous or whatever. But go ahead, Dio. And it wasn't it. Um, didn't Ray Arbach the one, is the one who was my man. Who he did light beer the, commercials, uh, but we don't drink light beer from Miller because we drink the only beer fit for a real man. Who was the the cat? Um, who was the Alabama coach? That Paul looks up Bear Bryant. Bear Bryant. Good call. Good Bear call, Bear. Good Bryant. call. Good call. Bear Bryant, also one of the most influential um, sports figures in history. Not only because of his reputation with Alabama, because his way of winning. He crushed opponents and he told Alabama his people, the Crimson Tide. Yeah. The Crimson Tide, meaning the Red Tide, meaning the oh, Blood boy. Tide. Roll meaning, Tide, Roll Tide. Remember, meaning we coming to crush y'all until y'all are nothing but just blood sacks on the ground, and it's it. It's oh, done. It's what we want to do. That's why their mascot is the elephant, because elephants are, are one. Elephants are one of the most longest living creatures on Earth. Two, they're one of the strongest creatures on Earth. Come on. And three, they have one of the best memories out of any. Um, out of any of the animal kingdom because they can remember things from years and years. If they look at you and you you flinched at them the wrong way, they'll remember you and they will get their revenge on you. They'll probably smack you with what? something or be like, yeah, nigga, I know who you is. You know who I am. You know what it is. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I see why they use the elephant as their mascot because it's strong, intelligent, and ready to crush. Because you remember... um. The Persians, when they were doing that, when they was going through the war with the Romans. The oh Persians my God! Had, Where did we had, go? Uh, it just, the, the you go, tie, Dion. A bit of tie history. Little the Persians used to history. have, you know, what I'm saying the any uh, the elephants that was covered with armor. Which is just not yeah, they, because they knew about that. No, we're golden. Because they knew it. Because they let knew him go, it. game. He's golden. Because they already knew that the you know the spear with it could pierce the heads of, but the elephant skull is thick and. If you if you notice too, also what that your uh, girlfriend's thick because you like thick things. You like all big old things. You like that big, big thing. Bubbly, that, booty, that booty, that booty, that big old butt booty always gets the quarterback. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, and the dollars too. That's what happened. But no, uh, elephants they got really thick skulls, and you can't pierce Including the body of bullets. So I do too. that's why they got. That's why they created the elephant gun. You know, it's a bullet that's big enough, and um. Adequate enough to pierce the skull of to take an elephant down. An elephant, Good yeah. lord, to get that yeah. ivory. Yeah, that's what they ebony and ivory. So y'all, yeah. yeah, okay. Go what, ahead. what will be? We gonna <laughs> that do was cool. the lightning round. Ah, uh, uh, we ain't on yeah, lightning yeah, round yet, all right? We ain't on lightning round yet. We we we, we, oh, we got to cut there. Yeah. No, because I had to give. No, you talking doing all this? Paul Bear Bryant, Roll Tide, Roll Crimson Tide. 
all up until, and you know, I, I, that's why I was giving you those hand signals, MIA of the FLA fans. Guess what? They were rolling until what? The U. The U. You know what it is. You heard that. You know what I mean? The The U. U. The Wayne. A little bit of Michael Irvin. A little bit of Michael Irvin. A little bit of Reggie Wayne. A little bit of Vinny Testaverde. A little bit of Bernie Kozar. A little bit of Alonzo Highsmith. And a little bit bit of shit. I ran out. But no, 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 no. They they had had so many more. Mm -hmm. Jesse Armstead. Russell Maryland. Uh, the Eddie, you. Eddie, Eddie, Eddie yeah, something. No. Ah, God. The you. There's just too many. Randall Thrill Hill, baby. The you. He actually did one or two years and with the Finns under Don Shula. Me. With Dan Marino. And the you. Damn it, man. We're getting pumped. Can and, you see it? And me. We're getting pumped. Hold on, fist I'm, pump. I'm Random Spartans. fist pump. I'm a Spartan fan. I'm a Spartan fan. So, you know, we. Oh, well, we yeah. Them. So, we had. And the you. Le'Veon Bell. You already know all the greats. Michigan State. We got Magic Johnson. Oh, oh, he's correct. Yeah, and we got the Gators. Gators. Charlie Bay, you got, you know what I'm saying? Well, sorry, Charlie he's, Bay, the, he's the hurricane. We don't like no Gators. The so, U. My MIA fans. I rally, rally, Gators. rally, rally, rally. Y'all had yeah. Dwayne. Y'all Fuck had Dwayne. Got them Yukon, whatever they call the hurricane. Fuck that shit. That's the Miami I'll tell you what. That's the U. The, the hurricanes. He, he we bring the ruckus. And they're coming back. I thought we were going to be mutual. And also, shout out. Hold on, hold on. Who turned the Hurricanes around? But Howard Schnellenberger, great sports figure, great sports right. figure right there. And big shout out to my man Bobby. Um, what was my man Bobby? It wasn't Smith, was it? He was the FSU coach. Um, oh, oh, Bobby, oh, uh, Bobby, 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 oh, God, Bobby something. Hey, oh Bobby, my Smith. God! How can we forget? Yeah. Oh, hold on. All the U fans need to know is yeah. every time they played the U, it was wide right victory for the U. But anyhow, Bobby, what the heck? We can't think of Bobby's his name right now. Man. But no, he was a wonderful coach. But Great he was guy. One of the best coach. Yeah. Yes, he was. And he yeah. stayed with FSU forever. Yeah, he, he did. Really him. forever. He's still with him. Like, uh, I don't think he's dead yet. I don't think he died. And bless his soul if he's not oh, going yeah. yet. Bobby, Bobby, but Bobby. Oh, it's, it's Bobby. killing me. It's Bobby killing me. Man. I, can't, I can't think of the name. Bobby Game, grab it. Yeah. Grab it off the net there. Oh, FSU, what I was about to do. FSU, Bobby, yeah, yeah, whatever FSU the hell your name was. Because. We're not going to leave this podcast without no. giving you a shout out because no, lots of love you, there. Who is the FSU lots. coach? Well, what is it called? Bobby something. Yes. Bobby Bowden. Bobby Bowden. There we go. I got Bobby it before Bobby. Google did. I, I got it Bobby before Bobby. Google did. When F when Google. Oh, in sorry. FSU history. All right. That's yeah, going to be Bobby censored. Bowden. That's going to be pixelated. FSU coach, right? Don't worry. Yes, yeah, sir. Florida State University. And he went there also. As yeah, yeah. He, she attended it. But then he became the coach and became a champion at Florida State, you know, because they won with um, uh, my man. Oh, with they had pl- they had plenty of great players with them they too. Had fucking, oh my God, they they, had, so many good players came Deion out of Sanders. FSU. Yeah, Deion they did have Neon Dion. You are correct. Deion You're Sanders. correct. He You're was, correct. Yeah. Every time you picked the Florida State Seminoles, it was like Florida State Seminoles when you picked the, the in the college game. Yeah. So you had that. All right, so. We gonna go with a rapid round, the lightning round. Oh, what well, we actually? What do we call it now? Hold on. Oh, Ladies so we gonna call it the lightning round. We call it fan the fan fave favorite. round. Fan so, fan fave. fave. We just gonna try to name off a couple of stars that are probably fan favorites with everybody right but now. But we could do whatever we want to do. Yeah. So I'm thinking. I think a couple of fan favorite stars right now will probably have to be my LeBron James. Who would yours be? Scotty Pippen. Yeah, he's a fan favorite. Who would yours be? You talking about a player? Yeah, a fan, yeah, fan favorite. Like fan favorite player. Uh, I, I, come on, by MIA fans, you know it's Danny Boy. Danny Boy Marino. There's no substitute. That's all there is to it. Dale Earnhardt. Oh wow. Dale Earnhardt. Holy shit. Favorite. Dale Jr. But go ahead, Gage. Who be one? Tiger Woods. Okay. 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 Yeah. Absolute. Who would be one for you? The fan favorite. Oh, or basically, it's, it's the, who you think Hold on. is fan I had, favorite? I, I was looking down at my notes, ladies and gentlemen, because I actually prepared. But I'm very sorry, I missed that, Dion. Who who would be your, a fan favorite? You think is a fan favorite right now? Another? Oh, right, right now or at any time? Right now or any time? Just a fan favorite. Period. Oh Jesus, God in heaven! I hate right, to mention. I hate. I, I hate to mention a damn New York Jet, but he had like such charisma, and he came in. He 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 was not only a great quarterback, but 
They called him Broadway Joe. God dang it. I hate the name of Jet because I hate the rotten, stinking Jets. But Joe Namath, Joe, Joe Namath, Namath, he had it going on, no doubt. And he was a 49er, too. He was a 49er at the end of his career. You are correct. I, yeah. would, I would say... Thank you for that fun fact and tidbit. I would say Roy, Roy Jones Jr. When, Roy it come to, Jr. when it comes to boxing, Roy Jones Jr. was a fan favorite, too. Oh, Dion, we need to get the cough button because hold on. Oh. Uh -oh. My bad. I did it without a corona mask. And as you can see, we have the technology to make it look like we're all together, but we're actually social distancing. We are actually about six and a half feet apart. We measured it. And if you believe that, you know, That's cool. you, you must have been smoking a little too much. So, y'all, we would like to thank y'all once again for joining Boy Gabe, my know. boy E. And it's been me. I do, I, I do have a closing thought. I do have a closing thought, okay? We might stretch it out a little bit because I had an experience recently that I got to run by you here. All right, hit it up. Okay, so you know what? You guys don't know this, but I work in the hospitality industry. And, you know, uh, I work at kind of a world-famous resort, hotel. You know, I have a lot of interaction with clients, and I got no shortage of eye candy out there. Mm. He loves the ladies, no? Yes, I do. And as you heard from the beginning of the show, yeah, I'm not wearing underwear. I'm not afraid to admit it. Okay. <laughs> Anyhow, I was at work the other day, and I got to tell you something. I, 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 I saw her almost five times that particular day, and I'm not shy. I'll go up to the ladies. I'll say hello, you know. But I just kept seeing this one from behind the whole time. I would be doing this or I'd be doing that, you know, whatever the case may be. And I'm like, my God, this thing has such long, gorgeous, beautiful, flowing hair. And what a body. I was like out of my mind. And I don't know. That's why I had to go up and talk with her. It's like, oh, my, I, I'm not going to let this happen anymore. With her. And she was alone the whole time. And I'm like, you know, so I can use any excuse. I walked up. I said, hey, you know, can I help you find something? And, uh. You know, here's the deal. I mean, this thing turned around with the most beautiful voice. And when she turned around, though, that was the first time I saw her from the face first. Mm. I about fell on my face because this bitch was the ugliest fucking thing you ever seen in your whole motherfucking life. I'm serious, man. I, it, yeah. took me, it took me six some odd hours. And I'm like, man, you know, I'm going to have to clock out. But I'm not going to let mm. this shit get away. Okay. <laughs> All right, but when she turned around, I, I just regretted every single solitary damn second of it. And I was like, all right, but I had to be nice. I'm in uniform. I mean, you know, I'm on the job. I'm on the clock, you know. You know, it's, we got we to gotta take care of our, you know, peeps and whatever. But, uh, you know, again, talking in the most beautiful voice. And so I was just devastated. I wanted to get the hell out of there. But... Push comes to shove at the very end of it. I had to ask about the hair because that was like some of the longest, flowingest, beautiful hair I've ever seen. And so I just had to ask. I said, you know, I said, wow. I said, you know, how long does it take to grow that? I said, that's some of the most beautiful hair I've ever seen. And all of a sudden her voice changed. And in the lowest voice, lower than mine, she said, I'm going to continue to grow it until it gets to my penis. Yeah. <laughs> wow. See, Gabe wasn't listening. He's a fucking clown. Did you get that? Did you get the punchline, ladies and gentlemen? I got fooled. I got tricked. You got bamboozled. I got bamboozled in that man voice, and I was wondering why she was so god dang ugly. She said, I'm just going to, I've had a goal to grow it all my life, all the way down to my penis. And I'm like, oh, geez. Yeah, okay, yeah. I didn't know it. We, so yeah. on that note, this yeah. that might be edited out. Yeah. It might be a joke for another time. <laughs> you know, I just really wanted to end on a high note and I took it down, you know, whatever. But I think it was a great fucking joke. You know what I mean? <laughs> Dion, this is the Dion Show, Dots View, and things like that. Yeah. We all love you. And guess what? We didn't do... Hold on. Wait a second. We didn't do dance break. Dance break! Oh. Yeah, damn, see, they didn't get up with that. Yeah, he, he they're fucking... Doing that. So, y'all. Until right. next time. I hope y'all enjoyed my man E story at the end. Because we got to leave y'all with something in the end. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed everything that we was doing. 
in. We're going to get back to y'all next time. All right. I want oh. you to leave the joke in, man. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah, telling yeah. you, they're going to love it. They're going to love it. So It was a great punchline, even though this asshole wasn't listening. Hey, listen. Your hood to my hood. He interrupted me. Love y'all. His hood. I hope y'all want to hear my point of view. I'm going to definitely want to hear y'all point of view. We got another one for you. We out, man. We got another one. Great show, boys. Great show.